What's up, YouTubers? This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. So, you know, on this YouTube channel, I like to do a lot of tutorial videos. Today, I have a laptop, a client's laptop, uh, that has problems and issues. Uh, and it's a fairly new laptop. Uh, it's an HP an AMD quad core processor, four gigs of RAM. But the client is having terrible issues with the PC being very slow and buggy and crashing. So they gave it to me to fix and I'm making this YouTube video so you guys can do this for free. If you have a Windows 10 laptop or PC, if you follow these simple directions. So today guys, I am going to show you from beginning to the end on how the computer was running before and how the computer is running after it's fixed. So get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric again with another video. So I am going to fix the client's computer. As you can see, it's an AMD quad-core processor A6 uh, with a 17-inch uh, screen, four gigs of RAM, 500 gigs of hard drive. Right now the client's computer is off. Let me, guys, let me show you guys real quick on what's the problem here with the client's computer. So uh, as I boot it up, and one thing you want to do is make sure you have it plugged in. All right, so as we boot the PC up, I want y'all guys to see this, how long it take uh, for the PC to boot up. Now, this is one of the problems that the client had uh, as soon as I got the PC, that uh, it had, uh, it take a long time to boot up. Now, with this much power in the processor, you should get a fast boot up, especially with Windows 10. Windows 10 is designed to boot up pretty quick. Unfortunately, as you can see, uh, the clients, you got the mouse, but you don't have no boot up. So right now the, the customer computer is completely inoperable uh, and nothing's happening and wow. So this type of stuff happens a lot. Uh, but I'm going to let it boot up because you can get into it. I've actually had videos on my YouTube channel with the uh, issue that if you can't boot up a PC, you can go straight into safe mode or uh, hit F7, F8, or F9 and get it straight into, uh, you know, the boot up process. But no, I'm going to go ahead and let it boot up and I'm going to show you guys if you could get inside the PC, I'm going to show you a real quick, easy way to go ahead on the factory reset it and get it out the way. Now, if you're able to get into your PC, you could do this real easy, real quick. Uh, but if you're not able to get into this PC, I have a full list of videos on how to do it in safe mode and stuff like that. So check out those videos. But since I'm able to get into this PC, I want to show you guys this is Windows 10. Basically, all you want to do is go to your search and just type in reset. Okay. See right here it says reset this PC. Now I'm getting pop up some McAfee and stuff like that. So we're gonna go it on and, and bypass all that. Okay, so at this point, finally, we got to this, uh, what's called recovery. Uh, and all I did was I just typed in reset and it goes into recovery. This is Windows 10. It's pretty simple, pretty easy guys. So y'all guys can do this. If you go into this recovery, this way you erase everything on your PC and it gets you just like you just bought the PC. All right, so let's go to the click on get started okay and uh, with Windows 10 it has a separate petition that's called recovery uh, so once you do this boom it's gonna give you an option okay keep the files remove the apps and settings uh, but keep all your personal files that's an option but just always remember that one of your files may be corrupted it may be the virus uh, or it gives you a second option here if you can see this remove uh, remove all of your personal files, apps, and settings, okay? So you do have a choice at this point. All right, so we can go to remove everything. Again, Windows 10 will give you some prompts, okay? Now, uh, one of the prompts is just remove my files, and it, uh, the second prompt is remove files and clean drive. Okay, so we wanna go and clean drive. All right, so I'm getting another prompt here and it's saying ready to reset this PC. And it's, again, it's giving you some instructions and letting you know that resetting will remove all your personal files, all your user accounts, any apps and programs that did not come with the PC, any changes made. So uh, just be advised that once you hit that reset button, it will take away everything on the PC and it will uh, get it right back to the factory state like you just purchased the PC. So let's go down and click on that. All right, now it's doing the process. Now, this process may take 
maybe an hour, hour and a half tops. Uh, but if your computer has a, a lot of issues, uh, bugginess, a lot of viruses, it may take a few hours to do this. Uh, again, guys, it's going through all the prompts. As you can see, shouts out to the customer. The computer looks really good, really maintained. Uh, everything about the PC looks really good uh, as far as the cosmetics and the, the, the PC being clean. And I can tell you, it's a fairly new PC. Uh, it's not that old, but it is going through all this uh, stuff here. Now we have 1%. It's, well, again, it's going to take a while. Right now, it's installing Windows. So at about the three hours that it took to uh, wipe the whole system, now it's reinstalling Windows. So it's uh, installing Windows from the backup petition right now, which is gonna take maybe about another 45 minutes to an hour. All right, guys, so uh, I got Cortana asking, asking me some questions. The legal stuff. Um, Insured. And so, to accept to use um, just kind of bypassing this uh, portion of it. Not quite time to kind of walk you through now everything. You connected to a network. All right, so I'm gonna bypass this updates, and uh, go from there. All right, guys, and hey, there you have it. I have a fresh boot, a fresh PC. Um, everything works. So what I like to do is I like to go and test it out, make sure everything works good, go on the uh, web and everything, uh, and go from there. I'm done. This portion of my job is done. I'm going to run some more tests with it and make sure it have some more updates. But uh, anytime you have a laptop, a PC, and if, even if you could get it to boot up, what I just showed you just saved you hundreds of dollars. Uh, you know, you could do it yourself. I have many videos on this YouTube channel, a lot of tutorials on how to help you. If you can't boot your PC up, or if you can, uh, I have E to R uh, videos on this YouTube channel to help. So right now, this PC is good to go. No more viruses, everything is good to go. This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about PC work in all its glory. See you guys on the next video. Peace.